He's the one who's kicking back. He's the one who's watching. He's the one picking up the slack. He's the one who's blogging. He has so many things to say about the world of tomorrow. He's bringing solutions to us today so we don't live in sorrow. Reaper. Reaper as told by the Reaper. Reaper, Reaper as told by the Reaper. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Hello. Uh, today I had to go down to my father's warehouse because last night apparently uh, a piece of my ceiling decided to enjoy gravity's sweet embrace and attempt to take my life by falling on my head. Thankfully, my skull wasn't ready to give in that easily and gravity's attempt to do me in kind of failed. So, my father owns this warehouse store downtown, and when I say downtown, I kind of mean down in this little crappy area in the town. We don't really live in a city, we kind of live in the backwoods, like in Iowa. So he owns this warehouse store in the backwoods of Iowa. So I had to go down there to try and get some tools to fix my ceiling, right? My dad, who's like 85, gave me this old-ass ladder from like the fucking Reagan administration, and some tools. I took them home, I started working. Apparently, I didn't know that this ladder had a flaw. All right, this yeah, it, it's a pretty decent looking ladder, pretty you know good looking. Work w seemed to work well. Okay, this ladder had a freaking flaw in it. It had just been oiled, which means that the metal part holding the ladder open was now all slippery, and so it shut, and I fell, and that hurts when you fall, and it sucks for me because my parents never trusted me in high school, so they put like these uh metal spikes on my floor to prevent girls from ever coming to my room because no girl wants to have these holes in the bottom of their feet. They think their feet are like fucking amazing pieces in technology. Point being, I fell on those spikes. Now, just because I'm a reaper does not mean I cannot feel pain. It hurt a lot. And upon falling on these spikes, I began to bleed, which is normally what happens when something impales you, you bleed. Uh, usually blood, some women tend to bleed acid if they're bitches, but I was bleeding immensely, so I decided to call up uh, my buddy Chad and have him take me to the emergency room. I called up Chad, he brings his car over, he isn't a Reaper. His car, by the way, is it's a fucking DeLorean. My friend drives a fucking DeLorean, okay? It, he's Marty McFly. So these DeLoreans, to get into them, they have the doors that open from like something like from the future to the sides, right? They open like, you know, that way. And I have a picture of, of a DeLorean. Don't ask me why I have a picture of a DeLorean. I just fucking do, all right? Um, so he opens these doors, and because I'm bleeding, I'm not paying much attention, and the door, whack, smacks me in the head. So now I'm bleeding from these spike impalements in the back of his DeLorean, and I may have a concussion from his fucking door. And he's an actor, but he was about to go on rehearsal for the role of Sandy from Grease, so he was all dolled up like a woman. So he drives me. She drives, it drives me uh, to the emergency room. And, and you know, we're like driving there. Chad's telling me not to bleed in the seat. I can't understand it because I'm losing consciousness from the fucking blow to my head I took from his car door. Finally, we get there. We get inside. Now imagine how stupid this looks, okay? Imagine how fucking stupid this looks. A reaper who is bleeding all over his cloak and some dude dresses a chick sitting in an emergency hospital waiting room. All right? You with me? You with me on how stupid this fucking looks? Okay? Most people there probably thought they were hallucinating. The point being, we're sitting there, and then this little girl sits down beside me. Okay, I'm bleeding. I have a fucking major-ass headache that feels like tecton tectonic plates have shifted inside of my skull. And I'm about to be talked to by a little girl. This is not my day. So this small child, sitting out there looking at me, she goes... Hi, how are you? Wow, you look bloody. That's funny to me. I thought it'd be cool if you died right here. For a little girl, she was kind of a bitch. She really was. And, uh, I can't talk to her because I'm basically dying. And Chad is really not in any mood to talk to anybody while he's dressed as a woman. Finally. Finally. We get in. They ask me for a blood sample. I give that to them. Okay, long story short, they patch me up. They send me home. Okay, today, I got a call about the blood I gave. I have herpes. I have fucking herpes. That's... It's beautiful. Fucking ridiculous. Visit this website to see more videos. Let my children go. Please, I said the thing. Let them go.